Praise the Lord. We are continuing with our series on the abundance of God and how to live in this abundance. But today, as we come to the close of the teaching, I want to answer one very important question. Why does God want each one of us to prosper and to have abundance in life? I don't know of any other verse on a portion of scripture that handles the answer to this question more than what the Apostle Paul said in his epistle, the second epistle to the Corinthians in chapter 9 and verse 8. And we are going to read from different versions, but I want this at the moment, the first version I want us to read from is the King James Version. Look at what that verse says. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. May abound to every good work. Now, let me read from the uh, the Passion Translation of the English Bible. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, and we look at verse 8. And this is what it says. Yes, God is more than ready to overwhelm you with every form of grace. <laughs> so that you will have more than enough of everything, every moment and in every way. He will make you overflow with abundance in every good thing you do. So the purpose of abundance that God lavishes and overwhelms us with is so that we may abound in good works. Good works is when we send out missionaries and facilitate them to go out and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Many of you know that I have a calling from the Lord to reach out to young people with the gospel of the kingdom. And I'm telling you, I have seen brethren, men and women that God has blessed with the resources, stand by me to support the vision. You know, I, have a, I, get a, I sit down when God gives me the plan for what I need to do for the year. I sit down with the plan, I present it to the Lord, and God touches people's hearts. People who hear the voice of God and willingly obey the voice of God instantly. And they give their money. It is possible they give their 100,000 Kenya shillings, 10,000 Kenya shillings, or half a million Kenya shillings, or they give a million Kenya shillings, or they give two million Kenya shillings. And as these people give this money, and we send buses to bring young people to the conference, for the P, to the PDA conference for seven days, and all these young people come to the meetings. Most of them were not born again. They receive Jesus Christ. They, 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 they receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. They get healed. They get delivered. This is what we call good works. Good works is like when you look at those of you who know the Samaritan Pass, which is a division of the ministry of Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. Look at what they do going into difficult areas and alleviating pain and suffering from people's lives. Those are good works. We have been given wealth. We have been given money. We have been given resources so that we may extend the hand of help 
to those in need. When God lavishes us with abundance, we overflow in good works by taking an orphan boy who could not continue with education and paying school fees for him, paying school fees for this girl, helping this university student who could not have graduated, helping this college student who could not have finished her course or his course. Those are good works. Good works is when we go and build a home, a house for that widow. Good works is when we give dress or clothes to that girl, that boy that is walking naked. Good works is when we buy a blanket for that lady to cover herself at night. Good works is when we feed the hungry. Jesus says, on that day I'll tell you, I was hungry and you fed me. I was naked and you clothed me. Those are good works. Friend, we have talked about the story of the Samaritan, the, what Jesus called the good Samaritan. The good Samaritan is not called the good Samaritan just because he had a heart of com compassion. He's a good Samaritan because, because of the fact that on top of his good heart, of compassion he had resources he was abounding in resources to be a blessing to this man he took him to the inn he paid his medical bill he, he, he paid for his accommodation this is what we call good works when you give out your money to go and drill a well into the community that doesn't have access to clean water. If you go and build a road for people to, to use, go, go in an area where schools are not there, and you build a school for that community, it is called good works. God wants you to abound in wealth, that you may abound in good works. When as a son, you, you, God blesses you and you go back to your village in, and, and you, you transform the home of your parents. You build them a house. You make them have a better life. It is go, called abounding in good works. The purpose of wealth, the purpose of wealth is to help mankind and expand the kingdom of God. If you have resources and they are not accomplishing these two important things, alleviating suffering from mankind, number two, glorifying God by sending out missionaries, by sponsoring ministry work, then my friend, you, do, you are not using your wealth and the blessing that God has given you for the purpose for which he gave you. You are a conduit of God's blessings. When God puts wealth in my hands, he has put it in my hands so that I may help other people and so that I may use that wealth to propagate the kingdom of God. To get air tickets, to fuel the vehicles and send missionaries into the, into the nations to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ the Lord. Let us abound in good works. In so doing, we demonstrate that we know the purpose of the blessing of God in our lives. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord, we thank you, we bless you, and we honor you. Thank you for allowing us to learn these great things from you. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you help each one of us to abound in your blessings, that we may do everything that we ought to do to the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' name we pray.
Amen. Enjoying this spiritual nourishment? Click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video.